Last week on LinkedIn, I put up a poll asking the question, is it a good idea to put the calories and macro breakdown on food on menus in restaurants? It was quite a popular poll with lots of thoughts, ideas and opinions. In this video, I'm going to break down my thoughts on this and whether it would be a good idea or not. Some of you thought it was a great idea, in fact. And by the way, there were 1,600 votes. 67% of you said yes, people need educating. 17% of you said no, you just don't want to know. 13% of you said who cares? Thanks for that. And 3% of you said pizza, flat earth or something else. My thoughts are in two camps, to be honest. On the one hand, educating people in the moment could help them make a better decision. We know that many people just don't have any clue about what they're eating, so it might help them. On the other hand, from a restaurant's point of view, I want people to enjoy the food, order whatever they want. I've got no concern of their calories. I want them to overeat. My aim as an owner of a restaurant is the user experience and ultimately my profit. And that's okay. But I think we can all agree on education in some manner is the way forward. Should it be before the person gets to the restaurant? Not at a last minute attempt just before someone orders their food. Education is one thing, but perhaps we need to go a bit deeper. People overeat for many reasons. And if you saw my video on obesity, you would know that I looked into exactly what I believe is going on here. I'll link to that video below, so make sure you check that one out. I believe we need to change people's thoughts, actions and behaviours before they even get to the restaurant. One thing I do want to clear up is the notion that counting calories doesn't help people lose weight. I want you to look at your calories like you would your finances. You've got money coming in, your wages or any sources of income you have coming in each month. And you've got your money going out, your mortgage, your car payments, insurance, kids, health payments, everything like that. The idea for most is to have some money left over at the end of the month. Now with calories, it's the opposite. If you consume fewer calories than you burn, you will lose weight. That is non-negotiable. Most people track their finances, but when people start talking about tracking calories, they go, oh, it's obsessive. For some people that have an eating disorder, yes, it's probably not a good idea. But for the vast majority of you, it's a bloody good start. Someone in the poll said that uh, it's no point dieting or counting calories because most diets fail and studies show that most people put the weight back on after five years. Yes, the diets that don't work are the ones that aren't sustainable. And when the person doesn't have a real grounding around nutrition and their thoughts, behaviours and actions, when they don't have a great understanding of their relationship with food, that's when diets fail. But back to calories on food in a restaurant. I think it could be a good idea, but only if the individual has an understanding of the numbers. Do you, watching this video right now, know the answer to these questions? How many calories in a gram of fat, carbohydrate or protein? Do you know what a calorie deficit is? If you do, how long should you stay there and why? And what's the best way to stay there? Have you ever tracked your calories? Do you know how to construct a well-balanced meal? Do you know that the Flat Earth Society has members all around the globe? If you answered no to one or more of them, showing you macros and calories won't help you. Oh look, this burger and large fries is a thousand calories. I better not eat it. Seems like a lot of food might make me fat. If you knew how calories and macros worked, you'd know that's total bullshit. You can have your large fries and burgers and still lose body fat, if that was your goal. I teach all of this on my coaching program. Having the calories and macros on food might help, but only if you've got a decent understanding of nutrition in the first place. Education is most definitely the key and this won't hinder the situation, unless you're a restaurateur trying to maximise profits, of course. But the key is real knowledge around nutrition before you enter the restaurant. Then an informed choice on the night could help you with your personal goals. I know this is pretty standard in the US, but as of April next year, 2022, it's going to become mandatory in the UK for all restaurants, cafes and some businesses to put the calories and macros on their menus. I guess we should see the outcome. My bet is it won't hurt, but it's not going to help that much. Like I said, most of the US has this already and 70% of them are overweight or obese. I don't know the answer to the obesity epidemic because it's such a huge topic, but I do know that education would be a great start. As always, I'd love to know your thoughts. See you in the next video.